Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, and I'm gonna show you how to make sausage balls a real crowd pleaser. A perfect party tray dish and four great dipping sauces to go with it. We'll work with the sausage balls first, and while they bake, I'll show you how to make the dipping sauces. Begin by shredding an eight ounce or 226 gram block of sharp cheddar cheese. And I'd like to take a moment to thank all of the community members that have either made a purchase, buying a t-shirt or a mug, or have made a donation to help make a gravy. Every little bit does help keep the channel alive. If you haven't made a donation and would like to do so, check the description box below. Thank you everybody and I wish you a happy holiday season and a wonderful new year. Add the cheese to a high sided mixing bowl and two cups or 240 grams of biscuit mix. Dive in with those hands, give it a once over, make sure that everything's mixed in together really well. In the biscuit mix, just in case you're curious, it's the type where you just add water to it and you're ready to go. You can use any brand that you like. I'm using a buttermilk flavored mix. Throw in half of a tablespoon of garlic powder and then add two tablespoons of chives. If you have access to fresh chives, work with those. I'm using dried chives. Give it a little bit of a mix. Break out that ground sausage. One pound, that's approximately 500 grams. I'm using a mild breakfast sausage. I know a lot of people like it spicy. If you like it hot, use the hot sausage, taster's choice. Use those hands, break the sausage up into tiny bits. That'll help with the mixing process. Work with your hands, start folding everything together. After you've given it a few turns, drop in one tablespoon, about 15 milliliters of milk. And this is really not too difficult, it takes about five minutes. Give it a few more turns and then add a little bit more of that milk, another tablespoon, about 15 more milliliters. After a little bit more mixing, everything comes together and congeals into a nice solid ball. So there you go, pretty easy, not much to it. Now it's time to make those sausage balls. Break out a baking tray, put a little parchment paper on it, and then use those hands to roll out those balls. If you don't want to use your hands, an ice cream scoop will work well. This recipe will make about 25 golf ball size sausage balls. Put them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, about 177 Celsius for about 30 minutes or until cooked all the way through. Let's begin with the first dipping sauce, a sweet and spicy ketchup. To a mixing bowl, add one cup of ketchup, that's about 245 grams, and you can use any ketchup that you like. Now it's time to drop in the world famous W sauce. About one tablespoon, 15 milliliters, and it goes. To clear out those sinuses and to make your eyes water, half of a tablespoon or eight grams of ground horseradish. For a hint of extra sweetness, a little light brown sugar, one tablespoon or 18 grams. For a bit of spiciness, one fourth of a teaspoon of ground mustard, one fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, one fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and last but not least, one fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Grab a spatula, give it a little bit of a twirl. The goal here is to mix everything well and to dissolve that brown sugar. And there you go, that's all there is to it. Give it a taste. If you wanna make it sweeter, add a little bit more sugar. If you wanna make it spicier, add some horseradish or more cayenne pepper. But that's how you make a sweet and spicy ketchup dipping sauce. All right, here we go with dipping sauce number two for sausage balls, a creamy sweet chili sauce. Begin by adding half of a cup or 115 milliliters of mayonnaise to a mixing bowl. To this, add 1 fourth of a cup or 65 grams of sour cream. Grab a little Thai sweet chili sauce, 1 fourth of a cup or 58 grams. If you like it really spicy, add a little bit more, maybe about half of a cup, or you can throw in a little bit of cayenne pepper. To really highlight that sweetness, add one tablespoon, 18 grams of light brown sugar. For a little bit of a zing, one tablespoon, 15 milliliters of lemon juice. To top everything off, one clove of garlic, finely minced. This garlic press is absolutely phenomenal. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can just chop it up with a knife, smash it into the board so all the flavors of the garlic come out into this sauce. And now it's time to bring it all together and give it a mix. And one thing you'll probably notice is that mayonnaise and that sour cream, it doesn't really mix together too well with a spoon or spatula, so use a whisk. Grab a whisk, give it a little whirl, and it'll be smooth as silk. And that is all there is to it. A super easy, quick dipping sauce that you can make in minutes. And this is the ultimate party tray dipping sauce. It's great for Christmas, New Year's, any holiday event, or any big game day, you'll be the talk of the town. So that's how you make a creamy sweet chili dipping sauce. Here we go with the third dipping sauce, a honey mustard sauce. Begin by adding half of a cup or 142 grams of Dijon mustard to the mixing bowl. 
Round up a little mayo, two tablespoons or 40 milliliters. Pour in one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of lemon juice. Add one fourth of a cup or 86 grams of honey. Season it with a touch of salt and a little bit of pepper. Break out that mini whisk and give everything a twirl. And just like the rest of the dipping sauces, you can make this sauce in a matter of minutes. So if for some reason you run out of this sauce at the party, you can whip this up in no time at all, just on the fly. And that's how you make a honey mustard dipping sauce. All right, everybody, I saved my favorite for last, a hickory smoked teriyaki dipping sauce. To a saucepan over medium heat, add one third of a cup or 83 milliliters of sake. Next, pour in one third of a cup or 83 milliliters of mirin. And finally, grab a little soy sauce. I like to use low sodium soy sauce, one third of a cup or 83 milliliters. To give it that smoky flavor, half of a teaspoon or 2.5 milliliters of liquid smoke hickory flavor. And now to give it a touch of sweetness that everybody so desires and loves, light brown sugar, half of a cup, 91 grams. For a little bit of an exotic flavor, ground ginger, two tablespoons or 40 grams. And if you'd like to see a list of all the ingredients for all these recipes, check the description box below. The goal now is to dissolve that sugar, so try to bring it to a simmer over medium heat, whisk everything together. While waiting for it to come to a simmer, make a cornstarch slurry. This will be the thickening agent that creates that nice thick dipping sauce. I'm using two tablespoons or 15 grams of cornstarch mixed with two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of water. Take a spoon, give it a twirl, make sure that all of the cornstarch is dissolved in the water. It can be placed to the side until we're ready to use it. Once the teriyaki sauce starts to simmer, let it go, let it simmer for roughly 30 seconds to a minute to infuse those flavors. Now it's time to add that cornstarch slurry, but before you add it, give it a little bit of a stir. Some of that cornstarch settles on the bottom, but dump it in, give it a whisk. The burner is still over medium heat, and once this starts to simmer again, it should automatically start to thicken up, and then, my friends, you're ready to take it off heat, and you're ready to go. And there you go, this hickory smoked teriyaki dipping sauce is the ultimate dipping sauce for any sort of party tray, whether it's sausage balls, chicken tenders, vegetables, you name it. So that concludes the four different dipping sauces that you can use to dip those sausage balls in. So let's see how those sausage balls are doing. They've been baking for roughly about 30 minutes. Let's break them out and have a look. Oh yeah, they look perfect, sizzling away. A little crispy on the outside, nice and tender on the inside. So there you go, pretty easy. That's how you make sausage balls. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the sausage ball and dipping sauce recipes. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button to learn new sauce and gravy making tips and techniques, and to remember to live, love, and make gravy.